that? Tactical analysis. Give me a break. I know my way around Sullust. After all, I did help liberate the place. That would explain why the Empire is still here. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. Of course it was. <laughs> Alright, so he's got a smoke grenade, sharp shot, and disabler. Alright. I probably won't use any of those. Except for maybe the sharp shot. Let's see if we can sneak up on some dudes here. I wish the droid could give me a scan about right now. There's exploding barrels over there. Oh, wait a minute. His... Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Should probably just explode the barrels. It's a way better idea. If you're gonna shoot him, let's just get this over with. Well, uh, fine then. All right. We'll shoot him then. Actually, I don't know if I like this now that I'm fighting. I don't want to throw a smoke. We don't need it. Smoke out, General. Nope. I don't want to smoke them. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do headshots in this mode. This weird outline. Ah! My cape is not blast proof. Or is it? Alright, let's see what this does. Let's go. Enough messing around. Is that so? Okay, that's that. Follow my lead. Ah, uh, shouldn't you be following mine? This is still an Inferno Squad mission. And I'm still a general. Right, following you. Yeah, nerd, I'm a general. Can we go inside now? It's really hot out here. Well, so far this is not a horde mode. That might change. Oh, they got walker parts in here. Check out this old assembly plan. The Empire used it to assemble AT-ATs. Good for you, Buttercup. We can't get in. Thanks for the commentary. The assembly line. It should carry us inside. Here, climb into this cockpit. That's gonna be comfortable. It has guns, we can Here use we them. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Hey, uh, can you move? Your cage is in my house. I know. You have no sense of personal space. But I have a great sense of style. Are you seeing this? This facility isn't abandoned. They're in full production. Okay, so we'll steal the weapons and shut down the factory. Easy enough. And that's what she said about rescuing Han Solo from Jabba's palace. We figure it out. We always do. Nothing ever goes according to plan when you're around. There. That's the central terminal. We can shut down the factory's power from there. Just need to get past all these stormtroopers. Oh, you and me back in action? Tell me you don't miss this. 
I absolutely do not miss this. This is our stop. Lucky us. Just wait until this walker's complete. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's get to that central terminal and shut off the power. When I open fire, you know what to do. Had too many of them for a good stealth run. Easy, you said. Yeah, it's gonna be easy if I didn't have to deal with this weird technical mode. Do it. Exploding barrel. My new motto is to destroy all exploding barrels before I get to them. As I'm going to die horribly. Nope, more exploding barrels. Get rid of them. I had too many exploding barrel deaths in that one mission. I am cursed. So what does this do? Oh, isn't that convenient? They're dug in pretty good. Actually bounced that around the corner. It's pretty good of them. Alright, let's try this smoke. Now I'm under you. Now what are you going to do? So, Novik, did you get the uh, campaign done then? If so, I'm curious to know what you uh, what you officially thought about it. That shot come from. Hey, we're not dead. Nice. Let's get to that terminal and shut this place down. Easy, my friend. I'll find your terminal. Maybe. Oh, it's actually not in here. We double. Oh. Doing, right? Of course. Unauthorized input detected. Security lockdown initiated. Nice. It looked like a power button to me. Okay, new plan. This place runs on lava, right? Yes. Why? What are you gonna do? Improvise. You just find us a ride out of here. Whatever gets me farthest from you. It's like there, I thought I had a headshot, but apparently I didn't. Just like Shrift to miss out on all the fun. Yeah, exploding barrels. Well, apparently we're going to be getting more free story in December, so I guess it'll be interesting to see where they take it.
This may have been a big mistake right here. Adios. Nope, 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 nope. Return there. That is really mean, stormtroopers. I see you moving over there. Shoot him in the head like three times. Now, where did that grenade come from? Pretty good throw over there. Oh, I see you. More coming. I gotta kill it. Shoot that guy. Alright. the pump systems. Oop. Floating barrel right there, and I'm right next to it. You idiot stormtroopers. Watch out, there's a barrel right there. You're flooding the factory with lava? No, I'm shutting it down. With lava. What about the weapons? Ike wants them for the Republic. I'll apologize later. We can't let the Empire have these weapons. Are you really gonna shoot me when this place is going up in flames? Ah, 
Yeah, it's heavy. Guessing that I'm going the right way here. Yeah, forget me. How dare me? How dare you? Barrel. No, don't throw it. He's on fire. That that uh hmm. that didn't work. Maybe it's this button. What button? I'm just I'm surprised that thing isn't just collapsing. Oh, I don't have time for this. Well, what are you gonna do then? Just shoot the thing? Oh I love that. Nice. That always works. Good enough for me. I'm gonna die. I think I need a running jump there. It's just a theory. Good enough for me. Trip. Did you find us a ride? New plan. Meet me in the back near the assembly line. Whoa. I'm here. Whoa. What are we doing? Taking another enormous risk. Shriv, I could kiss you. Move over so I can drive. This is going to be fun. Head towards that shuttle. Get us to higher ground. Cop, uh, what can I do? Call Lighten and tell her we're ready for pickup. With pleasure. Let's see, can I make it from... Lighten, it's time. Great, how many weapons are we picking up? Um, zero. We seem to have melted them. Then what's our cargo? One desperate Juros and a ridiculous man in a cave. <laughs> I was best to think about your mission. Aiden? Aiden, are you still there? I lost her. What was that? That was the sound of my plan working perfectly. Pick up the pace, Calrissi! The volcano's going to erupt, isn't it? Actually, don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. Not the volcano, just everything else. Get the exploding barrels. Stormtroopers! I'm working on it. There's a lot of stormtroopers. Yeah, so far of the hero section, this one has been the best.
This one actually feels like a real hero section. What? Unless this walker can fly, I think we're out of options. Destroying that factory had a bigger impact than we thought. Admiral Akbar is calling all Republic ships to Jakku. The whole Imperial fleet is there, minus the equipment they would have received from Sullust. Oh. I expect my father will be there too. But catching him is no longer our priority. This battle could be the end of the war. Let's get in, and we do what we can to help. Is this the famous battle at Jakku? We're actually going to be a part of this. Carabast. I'm picking up the stress calls. Too many to count. Del, the Corvus is yours. Cover the sky. Sherv and I will help on the ground. Hold on a moment. Iden. Make sure you come back. Make sure I have a ship to come back to. Hey, Shrif, I hope you survive this incredibly dangerous mission as well. Thank you, Dell. Your friendship means everything to me. <laughs> You're not an astromech. I guess that's one way to do that. Oh, the gonk droid's not gonna make it. Interceptors. Pretty quick little things. Good shot. Biden, are you moving toward a signal? Uh, sure. Let me increase my speed in that direction. I'm trying to help out the fleet by killing a bunch of dudes. Bombers. Then there was one. Okay, that's that. Come on, X Wing versus TIE Fighter achievement. Nice. That facility is a key target for the Republic. Fight! We can cut off those bombers from inside the hangar. Great idea. Find somewhere to land. Find me another target. Oh, so here's the crash star destroyer from the movie. This is fun and all, but shouldn't we be getting to that star destroyer? I know this was 
my idea, but how are we gonna shut down that hangar? We get inside and search the wreckage for remote detonators. I don't like this gun. Whoa. Really? Whoops. That is not what I meant to do. This is a fun gun. I don't know. I guess we'll see. They don't know we're here. Good. Stay close. Wait until I open fire. Our bombers are keeping the Republic at bay for now. Gather any equipment you can. We need to be ready when the evacuation shuttle arrives. Taking inventory of these weapons. Damn. What does E do? Oh, he's a heal. Cannon pulse is on F. Come on. Saw that. Well, let's try this. Healing, please. More like a shield than it is actual healing. Let's just do that. There he is. Detonators here. That's not going to be enough. Keep an eye out for more. Need those detonators. All right, let's roll. More detonators. More explosions. Time to shut down the hangar. Homing shot. Oh, great. Tide fighter on top. Find heavy weapons now. Whoa! Didn't even really have a chance there. Just got destroyed. I want to switch weapons. Let's go with this, maybe. Oh, great. Tide fighter up top. Dang it, I had a rocket launcher before. Ooh, ow, ooh, okay. Healing. Let's 
Can I somehow get to that rocket launcher? Or this, uh, this thing? me back to my normal gun. Oh, gee, thanks. Alright, let's roll. Size will chain all the way through the ion engine systems. And shatter the ship from the inside out. Exactly. Detonator planted. Reach your ship. Back to the X-Wings. What's this? Oh. Actually, on second thought. That would be the rescue team. We just keep coming! Then just keep shooting! I can't I can't use it. The thing's not popping up. Okay. Grenade, and I was like, uh oh. Where's that fire coming from? Other than that guy. You know what? You, you see? You guys see that? You guys see that? Watch this. I can find another one here. As soon as I get my targeting on them, they move. See that? They're actually like juking. moving.
Does anyone read me? This is Starhawk Unity. Sounds busy up there. A fight this size? It's everyone for themselves. Best thing we can do is focus on what's down here. And now the real games begin. Phantom Squadron inbound on the Empire's ground defenses. Wedge, snap, take out those cannons and yeah, keep wedge. us clear in the stars. We're working on getting the Ravager out of this fight. So what happens if we cross paths with your dad? We've spent so long trying to track him down. I really don't know what happens if we find him now. We should focus. It's not the mission. Take out the shields on the Star Destroyer. We need to secure access to an Imperial facility in Carbon Ridge. Can I get any assistance on the ground? Let's die for the sand. We're approaching a distress beacon. Patch me in. Yes, Mom. This is Captain Lindsay. Skin the surface. Threat. Imperial walkers are cutting through the survivors. We need evac now. Heads up. Enemy ship closing in on us. Tie fighters inbound. Let's take them down. Well, that one bit the dust. Fighter is. Iden Versio, Inferno Squad. Help us on the way, Captain. I want to take another pass at that walker. Can we... No, no, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think we can actually destroy those. I could be wrong. All right, where where are we going even? Actually, yeah, that's exactly where we're landing. This looks like a terrible landing place. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me, right? Those ATATs are closing in on our crash site. We're discovered, Captain. We're landing on your position. Thank you, Commander. We were shot down on our way to Carbon Ridge. We'll get you there. Wait. Wait. What if Aiden's? Or what if Ray's mother is Aiden versus? Shriven, I will get them. Stay here and lay down cover fire. Kill this. Uh, there's a Lambert shuttle coming down here. I can't exactly hold this position. They're getting closer. You guys, all right? Um. Orbital barrage here. They didn't do much. Here, this one. That orbital strike will ruin those ATAT. Well, you say that, it didn't really do much. Hold on. Working on it. All right, let's take out this one. One more, and that walker is done for. 
I'll take care of it myself. Or not, you know, either way. So bloody close. I'm gonna die. Who's defending me here? Clearly everyone else is slacking. Yeah, thanks. I, I'm well aware of the healing ability. This is Inferno Squad calling Starhawk Command, requesting an orbital strike. This is Starhawk Command. Inferno, you are go for orbital. Paint your target and we'll rain fire. Orbital Barrage, here! Get a grenade! your orbital strike the Lamba shuttle. Is that a thing? Do that. There you go. There you go. Get ourselves out of here. Hold on here. I am going to be completely overrun. I'm going to die. Hopefully there was a checkpoint there. I kind of want that healing ability back. Instead of scan. Um... Which one was it? Either that or we go the health. Let's go with that one, actually. Yeah, I've got, like, no cards equipped. So, I'm cool. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? Oh, there's the heal. Now, <laughs> replace that on two. Pulse cannon. I don't know if we need pulse cannon. Inferno! Falling back to the evacuation zone. This way! Okay, cool. Dell, let's get Captain Lindsay out of here. I'm inbound. The pickup, Commander. Go, go, go! We got him out! Give me this gun. This is our chance. Prepare our reinforcements! Here's our 
our boat. Oh, there's someone on the other side. Land this thing. Hello, Captain Lindsay. Welcome to the Corvus. Trip, help our friends to the Corvus. Go, guys, go. Everybody move. I always love these big ship landing scenes like this, like out of Mass Effect. Everyone oh. aboard. Okay, I guess I can't go yet. Oh, that's right, I have my X-Wing. Whoops. Thank you, Commander. Anytime, Captain. Good luck out there. Triv, back to our ships. Can we talk about that orbital strike thing for a minute? Sure, what about it? That, I think that was the best thing I've ever seen. You almost sound like you're enjoying yourself. I would never. All right, let's go. Look, guys, the gunk droid made it. What are you doing out here? Halt. 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 Oh, God. I was interrogating a gonk droid. Jesus. All right. Settle down, man. Fighters. Fighter destroyed. Corvus is hit. One down. So long. Should know better than to mess with the best pilot in the fleet. Keep those bombers off us. Bomber down. So long. All right, who's next? Got another TIE squadron inbound, but something's different. They're coming right for you. Good. 
Hello, Iden. Task. I knew you couldn't. Where's Hask at? He needs to die. Whoa. Okay. I think I need to repair myself, which I wasn't doing. This is the end, Iden. For you and your new republic. No. You're on the wrong side of history. He's got some kind of a special interceptor or something. You track me down yourself, or did my father send you? Would one hurt more than the other? No, I'm just curious who holds the bigger grudge. I'll try some more invasive maneuvers here, apparently. Get the repairs up. The Admiral ordered me to fight you. Your attacks on Bespin and Sullis really got under his skin. And I bet you jumped at the opportunity. How could I refuse the orders of my commanding officer? Okay, let's get him. Lock on. I never wanted to be your enemy, Hass. Then you shouldn't have turned your back on, on the Empire. I did what I had to. I'm sorry. I'm not. You're a traitor. You don't deserve to live. So I will see you dead. That was a good hit there. Finishing what we started. I'm gonna get my dad. Aiden, he's not worth it. I have to try, Del. Now go. Fine. Retreat! Android. I want a, a submachine gun for this fight. I forget what gun that is. That looks like a shotgun. Might be the one that I want, though. Hey, we're coming back to you Hold right on. now. Good yeah, enough. this is the one that That's I want. Order. Droid, disable comms. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hold on. Sir, now I'm I wishing I had the darn sniper rifle. I didn't, didn't think that there was going to be combat here. Ow, that actually hurt. Man, I just I wish you could have two guns in this game. Rocket troopers.
this box. I think this is just collectible. You're up. Yep. Nice try, buddy. Oh, I forgot I have that halt fire. Does this remind anybody else of the end of Mass Effect 1 at all? Heal me up. Appreciate it. Dude over here that oh I think there he is. I was gonna say I can't really see where he is. Jeez, so many. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it reminds me of Mass Effect 1. high ground over here. It's just pretty crazy what's happening here. I don't think this particular scenario has ever been done in Star Wars. Like, I'm on the side of the Star Destroyer in low orbit, fighting on the side of the thing. It's running gun here. Little careful, it's a little glitchy right there. We need to get my father off this ship before it goes down. Slice, please. Oh. 
burp, 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 burp. This is a rescue attempt. I politely decline. We have to go now. Rax expects me to leave, too. This is where I belong. I gave my life to this empire. Fought to keep it strong. Hard to believe this is all that's left. Ruh row You saw the Empire's weakness and refused to let it consume you. It made you stronger. That's why you're leaving here without me. You deserves better than this. No, I don't, but you do, Aiden. You deserve to live in peace. Go. Survive. Live. Going down with the ship. Droid tells me you're alive. Looks that way. But... Now, come on. You gotta see this. scene. Decades later.
sir. Of course. This way, Kate. You know, if you wanted to hire my ship, you could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. <laughs> I won't I tell won't you tell anything. anything. You think this ship will protect you? Keep you safe? It won't. Huh, alright, this is interesting. Some kind of force vision, or... Dream sequence or something? This is where you began again. This is Scarif. You hoped the Empire would make you brave. And yeah, he started out he started out in his lore as a short trooper on Scarif. are so easily broken. You will tell me. Eventually. Okay, so this is a mind invasion is what this is. We adapt or we die. 
I'm gonna die. It's a lot of gunfire. Even with me trying to block it. Impossible. Breathe later. I didn't Perseo. She was brave enough for both of you. First in, last out. She led you to ruin you. Born a coward. We adapt or we die. Iden Perseo made you a traitor. You think she changed you? That your daughter changed you? Your daughter changed you. Tripping out, man. Helio. You've been here before. You found something. A choice. You found faith. The Jedi. the Jedi. Why did Why you did help you me? Because you asked. Frightened of the wrong thing. I will tell you guys this. Last night when I was thinking of how I'm going to score this campaign, I had a number in mind, but what we stream tonight has risen that number by quite a bit. This is really interesting stuff.
Took it to Bayora. I have what I came for. He's yours now. Clean this up. How are you? You spare me the pleasantry to ask. We both know how this ends. Yeah, and you don't get to be brave! Because you are not a soldier anymore! Look at you, you're a coward. You traded in your weapon. For what? All in cargo on the Corvus. You know, Aiden may have betrayed me, but you, Del, you let me down! You... Let me down. We all change, don't we? Hey? And look at you. You used to be dead. <laughs> Leiden could do just about anything except kill me. Apparently. Ask. Gideon. Please. Don't go after her. It won't end well for you. Please. Project Resurrection can continue as planned. On the contrary, Club. I sought you out because, because you were useful to me once. We rebuilt your home and we allowed Genanta Security to maintain control of the system, but in return you have fallen behind schedule and you have allowed an outsider to discover our plan. An honest mistake, I assure you. My men will relocate the Pinho operation and up no triple our efforts on a third. Well, I shall leave behind a few of my men to see that you do. Make sure you bury Del Mico and his crew. But leave the Corvus alone. <laughs> you know it will lead her back here. I'm planning on it. Okay. Can plane completed. Hmm. Well, I'll get into my analysis here in just a second. Wait for this thing to load before I go too crazy. All right. I'll turn that down just for a second. Okay, so... So, Bloodhunter, you were saying, here's what... What I didn't understand about the mission is how he resisted Kylo. And he's not a Force-sensitive... Well, I think 
everybody, well, not everybody, but I think even as a non-force user, you can resist to a certain degree. But in the end, he couldn't, right? And I, I would say perhaps the uh, justification for that was he was one of the, like, best Imperial soldiers that there that there was. That's why he got selected for Inferno Squad in the first place is because he was that good. So Blood Hunter went on to say that even with the sort of final missions, you gave it a five out of ten. It's an average shooter and a story with a greater potential uh, potential than what it ended up being. And then Switzer John was saying that he agrees, five out of ten. Yeah, a little salty on how their commercials were advertising it as being uh, being on the Empire side like the whole time. And you only get it for like three missions. The campaign was pure false advertising on EA's part. Nothing new there. Alright. Um, first of all, I wouldn't say that it's false advertising. Because like any good product, any good movie, any good video game, they will do that. Because they don't want to give away the entire plot of the bloody thing. I have no problem with their advertising of this game. It, it hid away the twist of the whole thing, which is fine. You know, if we use The Last Jedi as an example, I can guarantee you guys that the trailers that have been shown for The Last Jedi are Full of BS. Absolute BS. If you think that's how the story is going to go down to Last Jedi, it's not. I would say my official rating on this is actually going to be a little bit higher than what you guys are saying. Uh, you guys are basically saying it's pure average. I think it's just slightly, just slightly above average. Not by much, but just a little bit. So, the first hour and a half of the game was really, really good. And the last hour and a half of the game, I thought, was really, really good. Um, if we go to... Hold on, let's go into this here real quick. No, not multiplayer. If we go to campaign here. Uh, select mission. So, the cleaner was good. Battle of Endor was good. The Dauntless was good. The Observatory, this was the worst mission in the entire game. I thought this entire sequence with Luke was terrible. The 15-minute bug fight horde mode was a real downer for this game. I thought that was terrible. The storm was... I thought this was an average mission. It was okay. Um, then let's see here. Outcasts. Trying to remember which one this was. Hold on, let's let's just load this one up for a second. I'm trying to remember which one this was. Because it said we were playing as Versio, not uh, as Princess Leia. Because and again, the Leia one I thought was terrible as well, but not as bad as the Luke. But it was still pretty bad. Which one was this? Let me skip ahead here. A bad idea. To settle a bet, Strip thinks you're Imperial spy. What do you think? Hold on a second. Let me turn that volume back up. I think you're scared, running for your lives. I 
I definitely think this is kind of a different story, but I think this game's got some animation issues. This is an, this is one of the animations that I have a problem with. It looks like she's she's walking on her side almost. She's not walking straight for whatever reason. It's really weird. you can track us. We're too busy for that. Keep moving. I am trying very hard. We just got word that Operation Cinder is headed to Nabu. You have to stop it. I think we can handle it. You're wrong. The Empire's changing, and so are its tactics. If that's the case, why not come with us? Help save Nabu. We're not here to join your rebellion. No one's asking you to. This is a one-time deal. You can leave right now, or you can help stop this. You really trust us to fight beside you? What can I say? I'm a big believer in second chances. Come on, I'll show you to your ships. We don't even know how to fly X-Wings. It should be easy for so, okay, forces. Okay, so this one, I believe... What's the alternative, I... This one is a space battle that then leads into the... Okay. Okay, so this one was fine. All of the space battle sequences were great. So, let me go back to the list here for just a second. But no, I, I can totally understand. Uh, people have been wanting a pure, you know, bad guy. What, uh, maybe bad guy is even the wrong word, but... A pure, just imperial campaign for a very, very long time. Um, okay, so that was that was outcast. Okay, royalty. That one was bad. Didn't like that. Distress call also bad, but it was better than the Luke and Leia one. Uh, undercover was fine. The Lando one was okay. Other than the Kylo Ren, it was probably the best hero one. Then Battle of Jakku was was great. Until Ashes was great. And Discovery was great. So, really, out of all of these, there was only... What? Three of them that were, like, really, really bad. There was a couple that were mediocre. And the rest of them were pretty good. But as far as the level design, I think that's maybe where some people are having an issue. The level design is very, very basic. That is that is true. And the shooting, as somebody mentioned, is also very, very basic. But even with some of the other shooters that they've done for Star Wars, the shooting in Star Wars has always been very, very basic. It's It's... Kind of one of the... Just the things for Star Wars. You know, even if you go back to something like Republic Commando. You know, something like that. Which Republic Commando is still... Considered to be... One of the better Star Wars games that's ever been released. I've never played it. I have it. I need to do that sometime. But, but I guess if I were to give it a score, I'm trying to decide between a 6 and a 7. It's really, I don't know, but I give it a 6 or a 7. I'm, I'm really tempted to go 7, because I think it's better than what people are, are saying. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll give it a 7. And, you know, I think another reason why people might be giving it low, low reviews, if they are, I guess I haven't really seen any, is because this game is tainted. This game is 
tainted really bad. Just with everything else that's going on with it. Now see, in my opinion, Destiny is a solid five. Maybe a six, maybe a six. I think Destiny is even more generic than this game is. They use horde mode sections way too much. Sounds like Destiny 1, doesn't it? Destiny 1 was nothing but horde mode sections. It's like Peter Dinklage would come in there and he's like, Oh, let me scan this terminal. You defend me for the next 20 minutes. That was every mission. I haven't played enough of Destiny 2 to know whether or not they fix that. I don't think they... I, th I think they did fix it, for the most part. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy, that, uh, happy that we got it done. It's going to be interesting to see where they take the story. But Destiny 2 has more diverse missions than Battlefront. Yeah, I mean, for Battlefront... I mean, you had really the two modes. It was either on the ground or in space. Which, as far as I'm aware, Destiny still hasn't done space combat. I know a lot of people would love that. That'd be great. Destiny 2, less horde mode, but overall, both games are just average. Both have awesome graphics and sound. Both suffer from average gameplay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the gameplay overall in, in Battlefront, there's nothing special about it. I mean, it's standard shooter mechanics with a couple abilities. Pretty much it. Well, cool. I'm just glad we got it done. Got this done. Got South Park done so we can move on. Start getting back into Assassin's Creed. Because I, I have not touched Assassin's Creed since I think I streamed it last. Because I got to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm playing too many games. So I just got to put these down. Let's get South Park done. Let's get Battlefront done. Now we can do uh, pretty much Assassin's Creed and Horizon. That's what I'm working on now. But I have a feeling like I'm not going to be able to beat Assassin's Creed. Maybe even before the end of the year. I don't know. I think Horizon's going to take priority. You wanted and expected more from Star Wars? Well, it's... See, the problem with that Blood Hunter is that it's dice. That's the problem. Dice is not known for their campaigns. Even if the author of the book wrote this, they're just... They're still not known for their campaigns. That's that's something that I've heard from other people as well. They're like, well, it's a dice campaign. can't be that good. See, the, the thing is, is what everybody wants, for the most part, is that Amy Henning game that got canceled. That's what we want. An awesome Star Wars story. She could she could have had it. And now we'll never know. Dice didn't do the campaign, who did the campaign? Did Criterion do the campaign?
And now I'm reading an article right here that says that DICE did the campaign. That's what I thought I heard, which is why I said it. Um, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no. Okay, so... It was mostly developed by Motive. So it was a combination between Motive, Dice, and the Lucasfilm Story Group. So it was a combination between three, according to this article. Well, you know, back to the Amy Henning game there. We know that Doug Chang was working on that game, and he's from Lucasfilm. So basically, it was him, it was him and Amy for the most part. Thing is, Motive, from what I understand, Motive is run by uh, Jade Raymond. But, uh, actually, let me go back to this article for a second. Because I could have swore that I also heard that, you know, those three studios may have developed the campaign, but I thought the, uh, the author of the book still wrote it. Maybe she didn't. Um, also, super side note. The uh, fourth member of Inferno Squad, I wish they wouldn't have killed her in the book. I really wish that she would have been in this. Yeah, so it's like the, it, yeah, of course, the tie-in novel was written by Christine Gold. That we know. I'm trying to find something to say if she wrote the campaign or not. Amy and Doug are gathering up the original crew from Uncharted to do... Oh. And doing their own company? Are they really? Yeah, I actually, since that... Um, since the announcement of the studio closing, I had not heard what Amy was doing. So I didn't know if she was uh, going to go ahead and move on to another Star Wars project or if she was going to follow that one or what she was going to do. So you're saying that... They're going to go ahead and start their own studio, which is smart, by the way. Doing an indie studio is the best thing to do right now. Being with these big companies is pretty rough. Hmm. But really, the bottom line when it comes to these Star Wars games is that you know, the Amy game was supposed to be out for fall of next year. And now we're probably looking another two, three years before we see a Star Wars game. Like the actual Star Wars game we're looking for. And also, don't be surprised if they do a PUBG Star Wars game. Uh, I've heard from a, uh, a very credible source that there are currently multiple AAA companies who are working on the PUBG killer. Whether or not it, ha whether or not it actually succeeds in doing so, who knows, but 
that's been the thing is just you know you put you know can you imagine PUBG with the graphics of Battlefront 2 you know like go back to like that Endor map we were on or something man that'd be crazy That would be crazy. Well, since we got this done, what do we want to do the rest of the night? I'm up for streaming a little bit more. Yeah, I think Disney just didn't know any better with the whole license thing. Well, you know what? The thing, Ron Allen, is EA is looking for games that they can do as a service. That is, like, their goal right now. And a game like PUBG is something that you can play forever, and they can stick all kinds of loot boxes in it. So I think, I think, I think EA will be making a PUBG-style game. I, I almost guarantee that they're working on one. Why would they not? It's the hot thing right now. Right now, there's really only two. I mean, three if you count H1Z1, but when you look at the top of Twitch, it's it's PUBG and it's uh, Fortnite. So one of these big studios, they've got to get one out and soon... Yeah. The problem is the loot boxes. This, uh, yeah, this loot box thing is still a developing story. We will, uh, we'll have to see where it goes. Don't know if EA has quite learned their lesson or not. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up for a Starfighter, just for kicks here. I saw that line on Twitter a couple hours ago, so John. It's funny. The shroud of the EA has fallen. Begun. The microtransaction has. Wait, what is this? Unknown regions. I've not seen this map. No, no, you're uh, you're absolutely right, Ron Allen. Absolutely right. But cosmetics, they can do a lot of cosmetics. And actually PUBG is kind of failing at that right now. The little bit of cosmetics that they put into PUBG have actually done really, really well for them. There's like a skirt or something that's worth a lot of money. A lot of real world money. Oh man, we don't get to go to the new map. Nope, maybe we do. Yeah, I uh, I completely agree, Snark Puppet. There's already people out there like Jim Sterling who have already called Bioware as the next company that's going down. What is this? Only fighters and interceptors? What are we doing here? What is this? Still has some teeth, eh? Blast those generators. It should disable the battery. They're taking fire. I can see that. Our backup's here. Our fight is 
Alright. Yeah, and if you do just cosmetics in a cartel market, that's that's fine. There's a couple of really quick kills. Trash those generators. Damn. That guy's got three star cards. Kill you inside of a Star Destroyer. No, nope, you're gonna kill yourself. Gotcha. And he got me. I pay to lose. I think he's lying with his name. I think he pays to win. Sotor is a money maker for them right now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Who's gonna outgun who? Watch out. Damn. Pay to kill Kid Lee on his stream. I know, right? Today is a good day to die. Oh, you won. All right, we gotta kill these things. Demolish those generators. We gotta kill these turbo lasers on the side of this thing. They suck. Almost there. Keep knocking out those generators. Three player kill streak. Thank you. Whoa, hello, asteroid. Oh god! Bad way to go. That one snuck up on me. It was so small. Fighters, that's what we're gonna do. Fire. Nope, we did. All units retreat. This battle's getting more costly than we can handle. I pay to lose has paid to win himself a match. That's what happened. How many kills did that guy have? He was tw he was the top guy on their team. 22. Hmm. Disney is going to own everything pretty soon. But as long as they keep doing things right, then I guess... They led us into a trap. Brace nope. for impact. That's interesting. I don't know.
These are first order ties. Laser still active. For now, defend those generators. Standing guard. Sorry, Hawkeye. Reach. Enemy down. I'm killing all the players this round. What killed me? Did I actually get killed by an NPC? Revenge upon me. Bearing our approach. Where'd he go? Sorry. It's like you dodge and you weave and you do all kinds of things. You just can't get away from some of these guys. They're just too good. up again here. Finally. I've got nothing left. Me either. We're all going to die. I got just crashed himself. No, I'm trying to, because again, the way that the terrible progression system is in this game, you have to play one thing until you get it to level five, so you can unlock that second card slot. There is no, like, overall progression. It's all based on every single little thing, so... It's like, the only thing that I can play is a fighter and a regular soldier. Because those are the two things that I want to work on. This guy is good. Keep thinning out their numbers. Wipe them out. Damn. Another victory for the First Order. <laughs> Shoot, they would shut it down because uh, World of Warcraft's a competitor.
You think we are headed for a Star Wars overload, overload crash? Movie-wise, maybe. The only thing I think we need to worry about is that they don't truly turn Star Wars into Marvel. Because, you know, right now there's like three Marvel films a year. I don't think we could handle that as for Star Wars. I think one a year is... is fine. No, no, I, I don't think we're heading into a game crash. That's been rumored for a couple of years. It's not gonna happen. And the reason for that is because there's too many good games out. Sure, there's a lot of bad happening, but there's also a lot of good happening too. I mean, 2017 has been one of the best years in gaming ever. 2016 was good, 2018 is looking good. Well, the thing about the, the loot box fiasco is before Disney jumped in on this, I think there was going to be a problem, but now that Disney has done, basically did what they did, that could actually save everybody. You know, you know, if Star Wars Battlefront, if they never put microtransactions back in this game, if they never flip it back on, which I don't think they're going to, or if they do, it'll be pure cosmetic. I think that's Disney, you know, a major, major corporation sending out a message to everyone saying, don't do this. And, you know, all the other companies are out there looking at what just happened with this game. They see that we all pushed back so hard that it basically made national news. So every other company has... they. They know that they gotta get their stuff together, you know? Yeah, and, and Jim Sterling's right. 2017 year is the uh, year of the loot boxes. Yep. Yep. But just, just overall, it's still a developing story. We just will have to wait and see what happens. That's really all we can do. What what has, you know, Disney's effect, what has that done to the gaming industry? Really, only uh, 2018 will tell. Let's go ahead and claim these. The way that you claim these is really weird, by the way. Why is there not a claim all button? And also, you'll notice that this is laggy. Waiting, waiting. There's like a little bit of a delay in there, so you can't rapid fire click them. Okay, got those. Well, did you hear what they... You said that pre-orders were canceled by the thousands. Did you hear what they did, though? Uh, normally, EA has a, a cancel pre-order thing on their launcher. They removed it because they were getting so many uh, cancels. And the only way to cancel was to call into customer service. We might be able to open some loot boxes here. Speaking of loot boxes. I don't have anything unlocked here today. I actually did my first uh, Heroes vs. Villains match. Uh, Jinobi and I did it earlier today and 
We, uh, we killed him in that mode. I think Jay got first and I got third. You have two unopened crates, sir. We got some greens. Oh, that's actually a decent card. And that one is not a good card. I think the hero cards are trash. Oh, we got some blue. I hope this blue is a Starfighter card. Duplicate, I already have it. Be something good, blue. Nope. Trash. Alright. Let's buy us some Starfighter crates. Alright, that's a decent one. Let's go. Ion Torpedo. That one's trash. Yeah, and yeah, the company's thinking twice about loot boxes. I hope that's what happens. Uh, what is it? Oh, again, it's a special Yoda card, special princess card. Nope, those are garbage. Kylo Ren, garbage. Hey, and here's a, you know what? Here's another thing. Why can I not buy these in bulk? Why do I have to do them individually like this? It takes longer to open. Actually, an ion turret for a heavy. That's interesting. Do I think Battlefront 2 is going to go on sale for Black Friday? You know what? I think that is a possibility. Now, if you were to ask me that before this fiasco, I would say probably not. But I think since they're trying to get people into the game because they lost so much money that they might actually do that. Millennium Falcon. Trash. Skywalker. Oh, what's our blue? Give me something I can actually use. How much do I think it'd go on sale for? My guess would be about 10 to 15 percent. Not very much. Ooh, three greens. There we go. There we go. That's something. I can handle myself. I don't need that card. I'm pretty sure. All right, that's all of our crate opening for the day. All the money that we collected. <laughs> you get 10% off with your origin access. Yep, yep, yep. Well, guys, I think I'm probably going to end the stream here in just a, a minute or two. Been trying to decide whether or not I'm going to stream tomorrow. And you know what? I don't know. We'll see. I actually have a, a new intro that I'm working on for Twitch. And a new exit thing for YouTube. So I might take tomorrow and just have that as a day to work on that kind of stuff. Uh, for anybody who did miss the campaign, hopefully the first part of the campaign will be up tomorrow on YouTube. 
Hopefully there's no issues with that recording that I did. But otherwise, we'll be, we'll be back Monday for XCOM Monday. And then from there, we'll see what's going to happen the rest of the week.